If you just aim for my head, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? So I recently travelled to Ochsenhausen in Germany to meet up with Simon Gauzy to take a look at the equipment he's currently using. Simon is a formidable player who has the highest world ranking of 8 and notably defeated Xu Xing at the last world championships. I mean this guy has got some serious feeling but also works extremely hard. The combination is what makes Simon so good at table tennis. Now Simon's got a new blade range out with his sponsor Andro and here we're going to take a look at the one primarily that Simon uses which is the Supreme Line blade with the Rosanta R53 on both sides. The blade is 7 plies of all wood and weighs 89 grams. There are 4 new blades out in this range but this is the one that Simon uses, the Supreme Line edition. Let's get into it. Alright guys, one thing that Simon is known for is his unbelievable feeling and touch for the ball. I mean, I felt this firsthand. This guy is an absolute wizard. <laughs> it went under the table! <laughs> A world class man. Yeah. What even is that shot? There it is. Ah, Come on! Saw me turn. <laughs> that, that's nuts. So I gotta say, the most interesting thing I find with Gauzy's setup is that he's using an all wood blade. There's only a few players in the top 50 in the world that are using a non carbon blade. Here's Simon's take on it. I played before with carbon I and mean, when I spoke with Andro about my new range for my blades. I don't know, I tried that one and I felt like, okay, it's not carbon, it's not as fast as carbon, but it's still very fast. I didn't want too fast. I also think sometimes carbon can be a little bit uh, too fast for some players. Some players mm -hmm. love it. I like it, but I prefer non-carbon. I am also playing a lot behind the table and then in control and, uh, and spin and for this variation, I prefer non-carbon blades. Oh, spinning. Well, this is grippy. Yeah. yeah, very grippy. I can really... Yeah, this was very spinning. Yeah. Oh, it's like... This is spinning. So here I'm doing some open ups against Gauzy, really testing oh. the spin and the feeling. And I agree with Simon in that carbon and wood blades have a different feel, with carbon blades feeling more crisp and responsive. With wood blades, they're slower, so you get more time on the ball, which gives you more forgiveness and a higher margin for error. Almost. Your feelings are ridiculous. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> Like, it's like a slingshot, it's like it loads and you're just like, oh here it goes. Some players are hitting always strong backhands, but me I'm always control, spin, variation. Yeah. And with this rubber I have all of the things together and when I rip a good backhand it's good. It's yeah, good. yeah, sure. So guys, something to bear in mind with this blade is that the outer ply is ebony wood, which is a hard wood. So don't get me wrong, it has got a lot of control, but it is still quick and direct. There were times where I blocked the ball directly into the net because it is a little bit stiff. So you do have to have good feeling and touch to be able to handle this blade. It ain't completely all out control. It is a fast advanced blade. It's just something to bear in mind really. To get the maximum out of this blade, you do have to have good technique and precision. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Hey. Here's Simon then, he's showing off his trademark chop blocks. Yeah. Take a look at these. Yeah. This is something you use quite a lot in competition now, chop yeah. blocks and 
yeah, everybody plays so good against block. Sometimes when the ball is very spinny, it's hard to make a hard counter with backhand. Few players can do a very strong counter with, with backhand. So when I feel it and I feel I have the good feeling on the right moment, then I'm just trying because it, it's changing the pace first. The spin is huge. So when I hit it well, not too high, it's quite good. It really is mental how good these chop blocks are. Again, I think the all-wood setup Simon uses helps keep the ball low onto the table. Whereas with a carbon blade, these can fly out more easily. So do you try and take this early? You must take it when the ball is going up. If it's going down or at the top, I mean, of the, of the bounce, it's tough. I mean, okay. it's hard to make it not too high. Yeah, because it just flies out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's risky to take it early, of course, but when you have a good touch and, and feel it well on the right moment. When you're Simon Gauzy. No, 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 not only me, Kokini <laughs> will make it much better. I can't give his nuts as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wants to play the Varna. Yeah. <laughs> Even Walton would be impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Come on! So here's Simon comparing the wood and carbon version of his new blades. So this one is the wooden one now, yeah? This, was the, is the, this is the wooden one. Okay. Yeah, I'll we try the, the carbon. carbon. Let's see if the difference. Yeah, that's typical carbon. I mean, you're feeling really... The wo I have more feeling with the, with the wooden. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I feeling the, the wood itself. This one is more going directly. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. not staying at all in, inside the, the rubber or the, or, or, or the blade. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Uh, it's fast. Both of them are very fast. But the feeling of the handle, I prefer, I prefer the wooden. But uh, it's a little bit thicker, the, the wooden one as well. Do you think, think so? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. Touch, yeah, yeah, touch. true. All right, so we've all seen those crazy oh. strawberry shots, <laughs> which Simon <laughs> executes <laughs> perfectly. I mean, he can get top spin or pack spin on these shots. It really did amaze me. <laughs> so that one actually had top spin. And sometimes yes. you're getting backspin. Yes, <laughs> this is the thing. Ah, it's nuts. I think that when I'm playing my best, I am very creative. Yeah. Uh, in most of my matches, even when I'm playing bad, there are many rallies, spectacular rallies, or mm -hmm. anything that's okay. That's part of my game. Oh. Ah. No! You got it. I feel like I'm playing Federer. <laughs> right. You actually play it like it's a tennis shot. Yes. I learned that from Hugo. I know, we were once practicing, I remember. And he or I played a ball like this just to, for, for fun. Yeah. And then we started to feel like when it's deep, you have more control to put the ball back inside. Okay, of course you don't have so long. The reach is not so far as with one arm, but yeah. you have more control to put it back in. We say, okay, why not? <laughs> and then we started to be fun. It's great, yeah. He made an amazing against Arimoto last year. And that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was a clean winner as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> Oi. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that's ridiculous. You weren't even near, near the ball. <laughs> I think I was not even outside the net. That's ridiculous. I thought I won the point like five times over. Let's <laughs> right, come back. Let's right, come back. So there we go, guys. I had an absolutely fantastic time with Simon. What an absolute beast of a player. I mean, just the amount of variation he has is ridiculous. It is actually quite an eye opener on how good he is. And uh, obviously, when I played other pros. You know, you, you get, it's more conventional play, so you, you have an idea of what's going on, even though there's a ridiculous amount of top spin. But with Simon, just the crazy shots and the variation just, it made me feel like a beginner at times. So I said in the review, guys, that it's interesting that Simon's using an all wood blade. Now, you know, I can't think of many players in the top 50 in the world who are using an all wood. Usually it's carbon, really fast blade. But don't get me wrong, though, this still is a fast blade, even though it's all wood. 
The ebony outer ply, the wood, the outer ply is, is a hard wood, so it comes off quickly. It's a pretty stiff blade, it's quite direct, but yeah, you're still getting tons of power. Now, what puzzles me with the Gauzy series is the Supreme line, this, this blade we have right here, which he uses, is 129 euros, which it is quite steep for an all wood blade. There's not many all wood blades out there at this price point. But I think one of the reasons for the price point on this blade is the top ply. The ebony wood is expensive. I mean, it's one of the most expensive woods in the world. So of course, it does raise the price point on, on blades using high expensive woods. So I think that's why this does come in at a high price point. If you are a developing player or beginner out there, you may want to look at the basic line from the Gauzy blade range as these are slower blades. But this blade we're looking at in focus is quick and it's definitely not for beginners. But interestingly, the carbon version, the high line, comes in at 69 euros. So quite a lot cheaper and really good value for money for a carbon blade. Because usually carbon blades are a lot more expensive than this. And this is a good carbon blade, good value for money. And personally, I actually prefer the carbon version. I feel more at home. Obviously, I'm more used to carbon blades than wood blades. But yeah, I just feel with this, when I'm actually going for top spin strokes in the rally, I can put more pressure. Whereas the wood blade is a little bit of a different feeling. But again, carbon and wood blades, it does just come down to personal preference and, and what you prefer. So Simon pairs his Supreme line blade with the Rosanta R53 rubber, which is interesting. It's a 53 degree sponge, so it's hard. And we recently released a review on this, so be sure to check that out in the links below. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video review. Simon, what a top guy. And yeah, just a massive thanks to Simon for his time and letting us have a day with him, really, and try out his uh, bat of choice. Be sure to let us know in the comments below what you prefer, a carbon or a wood blade. And for now, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for many more video reviews here on Table Tennis Daily. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah.